Hello, everybody. Welcome into a Hoop State Hype special edition. I'm here with Caden Shedrick, a Holly Springs High School UVA signee. Caden, first, how you doing? Second, appreciate you joining us. Uh, I'm doing great. Uh, thank you for having me. Absolutely. So, um, obviously, you're wearing the sweatshirt. So, right. we'll, let's talk about this right away. Okay. Your sign sealed delivered to UVA. How excited are you to get up to Charlottesville and start playing for a coach like Tony Bennett and in in, for a program that has really, really established itself really in the last six or seven years since he's gotten over there. Right, I'm excited to go up to Charlottesville, um, hopefully develop a lot, get better, and play in a, a program that's been great for years, and hopefully continue that tradition. So, you talk about development. We watched your old Phenom 150 highlight tape yeah. from a couple years ago. Your hair was a little bigger, mm -hmm. you were probably a little smaller, right. and all you were doing was shooting threes. Uh -huh. Kind of describe, obviously we're gonna get to kind of your blow up from this summer a little in a little bit, but kind of describe how your game has evolved from the middle of your sophomore year to when that happened to now. Right. Uh, so at that Phenom 150, I was like, just lots of three pointers. <laughs> um, I I didn't like to go inside. Uh, I wasn't that strong. I'm not that strong now, but I'm definitely stronger. Yeah. So now I've developed like more of an inside game, um, but I can still shoot a little bit when I feel like it. Uh -huh. so. I, yeah, made a three the other night. Yeah. One for one, so I feel pretty good about that. Yeah. you. I mean, you've always been able to score at all three right. levels, but um, so you've played with Garner Road the past two summers. You've been at Holly Springs. Um, everything's been pretty consistent from that, that standpoint. Obviously, LJ Hep took over at Holly Springs. We'll get to that in a second, too. How has playing for Garner Road helped you from one, as just as a basketball player, having guys like Dwayne and David mm -hmm. around to help you out play basketball, but then their their guidance off the court and their mentorship to you. How has that helped you become a better man as well as becoming a better basketball player? Right. In terms of basketball, Garner Road was amazing for me. Um, I have my trainer, Coach Gia Garner Road, who helped pretty much get me to where I am today. And then Coach Chris is one of the ones that brought me into Garner Road. Mm -hmm. um, and Trevor. Um, Trevor West, that's uh, Dwayne West's son. Mm -hmm. uh, he also likes to talk to me about basketball and stuff, help me out a lot. And then of course there's uh, Coach uh, Coach West and David West. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, people too. usually, people know who he is. Right, yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> uh, they, yeah, they're, they're great. And then off the court, they really put emphasis on school and like grades and stuff. Mm -hmm. So I remember, um, I guess, before the spring of my junior year, um, we did SAT prep. Mm -hmm. So we would just, go there i think it was like every saturday for like six weeks maybe i'm not sure how long wow. it was but um that morning and we would just do sat prep and like practice and stuff and this and was all through garner road through garner road wow um they brought in somebody to help prepare us for the sat and stuff so they take grades uh, really seriously um they say no books no ball so there you go now I, for an aau program to do that that's um that's pretty special i had no right. idea that that even happened right. So you play with Garner Road your sophomore year, and then your junior high school, you pick up an offer from Nebraska and Bowling Green, if I'm not mistaken. Right. You have two offers heading into your junior year summer, and then all hell breaks loose. Right. And you get you finish with 34 by the time you commit to UVA. Um, wh what was that like? Just kind of dealing with that, not only as a basketball player, but as a person. You go from a kid that is a Division One player, mm -hmm. has a high major offer, and then all of a sudden things start pouring in and it just becomes kind of crazy. I remember it was kind of kind of felt like the summer of Caden Shedrick. It was you and Caleb Mills that had the big blow right. up. How did that feel for you, um, really as a person, just handling all that? It was a lot to take in. Um, I thought it was important to stay humble through all of it. Mm -hmm. uh, I know that I had a lot of work still ahead. And I don't know, it was just crazy uh, <laughs> to see all the schools wanting you. Yeah. And um, just a few years ago, you were just playing baseball and now you're out here playing basketball going to a probably a power five school so it was a lot to take in yeah um you played baseball so basically i mean you mentioned this before we started mm -hmm. up until your sophomore year you really baseball was the sport you took really seriously and mm -hmm. basketball was a thing to help you stay in shape and have fun and right. maybe maybe something right. and it turned into be something really serious mm -hmm. When did that shift for you? And what was the conversation like with your family and your friends kind of dealing with that shift and focusing all your energy on basketball? Right, so it was like the sophomore high school season. We, um, Coach Chris mm -hmm. from Garner Road, he helped Holly Springs High School. So he pretty mm -hmm. much brought me over to Garner Road. I had a workout with Coach G and we talked with Coach West after uh, Dwayne West and mm -hmm. he pretty much said, we'll offer you a spot onto our 16th team mm -hmm. if you give up baseball. So that was like a lot at first. Um, mm -hmm. We went home, talked about it and stuff. Uh, eventually I was like, okay, I mean, I'll do it. Mm -hmm. And so it, yeah, I had to drop baseball, but 
I got to play for that. Right? I think it worked out okay. It did work out. <laughs> yeah. Um. So yeah, you you have the summer. You're playing in the on the Adidas Gauntlet in the in the July Live period, mm -hmm. and you're all of a sudden becoming the center point of attention for defenses when they're playing against you. How do you deal with that now? When previously you were a very very good player, but now you're a top 100 player in the country dealing with a lot of attention on the basketball court. Um, just stay focused, uh, do what I can to help my team win. That's really the main thing for me. Um, it's not all about uh, necessarily scoring the most. I just want to make sure I can help both on offense and on defense, but uh, sharing the ball going inside out, mm -hmm. you know, because inside out three, I, I believe is probably the best three in basketball. Yeah, so, it is. Yeah. You're right, Tony Bennett taught you well. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, Obviously, you get all the attention from the high major coaches, and then you, it comes time to make a decision. You cut your list down to eight, mm -hmm. and then you ultimately decide to commit to UVA. What was the uh, the main reasoning behind that decision, and, and why, why did you feel like this the time and place before the start of your senior year was the right time to do it? Um, UVA was a school that I had known for a while. I knew that they don't necessarily get like the five stars, the big recruits and all mm -hmm. that. And I'm, and they still win games. They make good players. So like, that was uh, important to me before I even got the offer. Mm -hmm. So um, I cut it down to eight and then I um, just started taking a few visits. I think I went to Xavier in Virginia. Mm -hmm. um, I loved it at Virginia. Everything they told me uh, about their developing um, defense, where they could see me fitting into the system, like on offense and on defense. Mm -hmm. um, and that was really important to me. I just ultimately thought that Virginia was probably the best place for me. Now, who committed first, you or Carson? Um, me. I was on How my, hard were you recruiting Carson to commit? I wasn't. I had no idea that he was that close to committing. Really? Yeah. I, it was a surprise to me because I was on my official visit to uh -huh. Virginia after I committed. Um, it was the weekend that they played Louisville in football. Yeah. I opened my phone and I see Carson committed. I'm like shocked. Like, <laughs> I, I was like, I did not know that was happening. Yeah. I think I, that felt like kind of a shock. From yeah. a if the fit, it always felt right, but the right. timing of it was right. was a little different. I didn't know who was that close to committing. No. Nah. Um, how much does it help that you have a guy that obviously plays at Greensboro Day, but he's from Raleigh? Holly Springs is not far from Raleigh, from people who know. Um, plays for Garner Road too. How much does it help that you have that familiarity concept of it with yeah. him being there? It's gonna be great um, when he gets down there uh, to have somebody that I've had around for I guess two years now in the Garner Road program. Mm -hmm. uh, somebody that can relate to what we. Um, been doing for the last few years so yeah so this year at holly springs it feels like you guys are on the verge of accomplishing something very very special i think you're you only have three losses at this point in time 15 and three, 15 and three um at the time of this recording you have guys like marcus elliott caleb and, and garrett and guys that can really 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 play and coach lj hep is there now and he, he did a lot of things good things at panther creek he was an assistant for some of the top programs in college he was also an overseas pro coach in, in japan how much has he helped you as a basketball coach and just dealing with being the leader of a team? Um, he's helped me a lot. Uh, he's helped me and my whole team a lot. He's really helped me realize like what it takes to be a leader mm -hmm. because uh, we take I took a leadership class in fourth period last semester. Mm -hmm. uh, he was the teacher. So um, it really helped me to develop my leadership skills to help try and lead my team to something special, hopefully. Um, and then just as a coach, he's a phenomenal coach. Um, it's actually our first winning season in school history, mm -hmm. so that's really cool to us. Um, and hopefully, we can get the first conference championship in school history. Yeah. So yeah. That, that would be big time. That would be huge. Uh, so, how much has Holly Springs meant to you that you've been there all four years? A lot of guys, especially high profile guys like yourself, mm -hmm. they'll go to a private school, they'll reclass, they'll transfer, they'll bounce around a lot. Right. You've stuck with Holly Springs. Right. How is how rewarding has that been for you to see it kind of all culminate into a really successful year this year? It feels really good yeah. to go through all the downs um, of the 3-22 and 22 season my sophomore year, mm -hmm. 13 and 15 last year. We probably weren't as good as we should should have been, but to be able to come back my senior year and put together something special, um, it, it's really cool. Is, is it state championship or bust for you guys? Is that kind of how it feels? Um, You'll celebrate yeah, the accomplishments it, along the way. Right. The, yeah, the, if we want to win a state championship, this is probably the year that we have to do it. Yeah. Or Holly Springs has to do it. Yeah. Um, it'll be good next year for sure. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah they'll have guys coming right. back. Yeah. So, what what is it? what's Caden Shedrick like off the basketball court? Because obviously we see you. You you bring a lot of energy. You'll talk crap on the court sometimes. Right. You'll flex on people. I've seen it before. <laughs> but for the most part, you seem like a very mild-mannered, soft-spoken kid. Mm. How, how, how are you like off the court? What do you like with your teammates? Do you, do you joke with them? Is it 
is or are you just very very serious um no nah, i like to joke around right, a good. lot yeah uh <laughs> i like to hang out with my friends hang out with my teammates i'm around them all the time I like to pick on Dante a lot. Oh, uh, really? I love to pick on Dante. <laughs> uh, the sophomore is 6'8". Yeah, you know, he's, he's good. He's, he's a good one, he's too. He's going to be good. I'm trying to, I'm trying to, you know, I call him my project. There you go. So, Coach Caden. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I'm working on Dante. Um, but, yeah, I like messing around with my teammates. It's pretty fun. That's good, man. Uh, I think we're at a good point to, to wrap this thing up. Caden, I appreciate you coming on. Cool. And, man, we'll see you soon, and the best of luck at UVA. Right. Thank you. Absolutely.